Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So today's gonna be a little bit of a different video, but back in early September, my brother ended up moving out to a house that was closer to his school. So it left his bedroom. He kind of like left some of his like furniture that he didn't need. And so one of them was his old bookcase. And so I was like, I'm running out of real estate in my current bookshelf situation in my room. So I'm gonna utilize that bookshelf to kind of help make some more room on the shelves that I have in my kind of bedroom so yeah I was like you know what I had no school on Veterans Day and I'm like I'm gonna use this opportunity to organize my shelves and kind of go off from there so here is a video of the before and after and also kind of my process of organizing everything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started so I'm thinking of putting my hardback house editions of Harry Potter up in that bookshelf there in my brother's room and then also these kind of bigger editions of Harry Potter like they're nice to have but I feel like when real estate is tight like I feel like they just take up a lot of unnecessary space and like I've read all this stuff so um there and then I think I want to take these down so like these series that like I want to keep because I read th these like with my friend and then there's like the winners curse trilogy and then the gold seer trilogy and then i don't even know what else is behind here but i think i'm gonna put those um down there as well and then maybe my series of unfortunate events which are all the way at the bottom there but we'll see that's what i kind of plan for here because i definitely want to keep like the throne of glass because it all fits in this spot i think i have room for like the new uh Crescent City book will fit perfectly here and then I can worry about readjusting this once like we get another book but I'm good until like February of next year so that is good um yeah keep that and then I also really like this kind of the Renegade series and then also the Diviner's Quartet so I'm going to keep those there so I'm relatively pleased with the layout of these because a lot of these are series that are completed or I have like room for the ones that will be coming out later. Um, I definitely need to figure out where to put these because I know there's a new book coming out in this series here which um, in December so I need to get there and then I might move around some of these series as well. I like how they all can kind of fit here but I don't know I feel like I feel like I'm just running out of room on like this shelf here. So we'll see. And then I definitely want to, this one will be full too because when the new Madness of Crowds comes out on paperback, like it will fit perfectly there. But there is a new Tracy Crossright book that will be able to fit here. So this shelf, but then there's also like this new one coming out. So maybe on the skinnier shelf, like Robert Tagoni will get his own shelf. We'll see. And I know for sure this bottom shelf, just because it takes up so much room, and these are things like I don't really use. Like I don't really use those coloring books. And then I got just like the movie companion books and then my photo albums, which just take up in tour books, just take up a lot of space. So I think these ones for sure I'm gonna go um, put upstairs in Georgie's room. Yeah, same for here. I'm pretty pleased with how these are all kind of laid out. Um, the top shelf, there are some books that I want to put in my, like, unhaul pile, but I'll worry about that at another time. Like I said, I'm pretty pleased with how these are there. And even though this empty shelf is, you know, <laughs> it's empty, basically, I do like how I've organized it. So I want to keep this um, kind of open like that. Um... Yeah, and then like my TBR and stuff. So like maybe some of the, the like the Still House Lake series by Rachel Kane may go on the skinnier shelf. And then depending on how much room there is left, I have all these like paperback books here that are just double stacked, like ones that I read when I was a teenager or a kid. So maybe they're like they will go upstairs as well. Time depending, but for sure these ones are gonna go upstairs. The Harry Potter big Harry Potter books, and then like some of the trilogies that were down here. Gathered by the sea 
and people anxiously Not once did speak to me When tides came did not flee The East spoke the same, had the same dreams Same pain and same feelings Staring at the sea and what was left of me Patiently, sand people sit and wait anxiously. enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>